Hey guys, it's Sabrina here again. Um, as always, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, share, like, let me know how you feel. Stop by, say hello. And if um, you aren't new and you've been rocking with me, I say thank you, thank you, thank you again for all of your support. Um, you guys know that means so much to me. So now I know some of y'all probably a little tripped up by the title of this video, like, Happy Father's Day, Mom. But I can explain. I can explain. So, um, but before I get into the explanation of that and get into the video, I just want to make sure that it's very clear. I'm not trying to, um, this is not an attack on the fathers by no means. This is not to try to take away the sense of their holiday, the one holiday that, you know, they have, I would never want to try to steal that away from them and try to oppose that on women or on mothers. So please just give this video a chance to kind of um, explain itself because I will go in depth and a way more than just the basis of what you may be thinking, you know, so just sit tight and, you know, just hear what I have to say for a little bit. So um, let me explain. First off, you know, again, this video is more so a love letter, in my opinion, if you will. It's more so a love letter to my mom to just publicly honor her for all the hard work that she's done. And although there is nothing I could ever do to repay her, but I feel like, you know, if I have the chance and, and since I have this little platform, I definitely would like to publicly thank her and honor her in this moment because Mother's Day is just one holiday. Father's Day is just one holiday out of the calendar year, but it should not be the only day that they get memorized. You get what I'm saying? So, and recognized. So that being said, I know that Father's Day passed like two days ago, but um, it did take me a little while to make this video with um, timing, scheduling and everything. So now that I have the time, I just really would like to honor her for playing both roles in me and my siblings' life lives throughout our whole entire life you know my father he's not a bad guy in my opinion at least you know that's how i like to think about it so i can keep my heart's posture right you know no matter what someone has done or hasn't done in your life um for me personally i find that a good way to help me keep my heart right and keep me from holding grudges and bitterness and frustration and unforgiveness and all of that is to um is to just keep my heart's posture, right? You know, I like to look at the bright side of things and, you know, look at what the goods that they have done and blah, blah, blah. Doesn't mean that I'm ignoring the bad, but anyway, so that's not what this is about. So it is not a way to bring my dad down or to say that he was useless. Um, and again, it's not a way to try to steal the holiday from the fathers because you guys, those that are good fathers and active fathers in your kids' lives, you guys deserve the world. You guys are amazing. Um, you guys deserve to be honored every single day because it is not easy. Just like it's not easy, you know, being a mom, it is not easy being a dad and a good one at that. So definitely all power to you guys. Hats off to you guys who are out there doing an amazing job, active in your kids' lives, and just setting the right example, making sure you're seeing them without having to be told all of that so major 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 big ups to you guys but i am here just to express my gratitude and to express my feelings for my mom on a public stage um because i called her on father's day on sunday and to just wish her a happy father's day um and i started to kind of go into detail about like why i'm doing it to her and you know she just you know wasn't lost for words she found herself crying and you know the whole nine and everything because as i went in depth i started to just tell her how much of a light and a symbol she's been in our lives um and i'm only you know i can only speak for myself i know my my brothers feel the same way also but um i'm not gonna um take that opportunity away from them for them to not be able to say anything themselves so let me speak on my behalf for right now how she's just always played both roles like she did the best she could she wasn't the perfect parent as no one is and there are a lot of things she could have done differently there are a lot of things she could have done better but with the resources and the knowledge and education that she had i just i can't help but to uplift her for at least trying 
because you have some people who are given the tools, given the knowledge, given the education, given the resources, given everything, and they still do nothing with it. So when you find someone who at least puts in the effort, I'm very, very big on effort and intentionality. So when you find someone who puts in the effort to do what they can with what they've been given, that's all you can ask for. Honestly, that's all you can ask for. And my mother did just that. You know, like she was and still is a superwoman, like strong beyond measure. Without a, an American education, she didn't even feel it, finish high school back in our country because, you know, she got pregnant at an early age and um, had to stop going to school. And, you know, so many other things interfered with that. But and even with her home life, she wasn't given um, the proper tools and education and upbringing for her to be able to pour out on us the way that we should be. But she just tried, you know, like, and like I said, you can't ask for more than trying. So my mother, you know, my father wasn't really um, the active type, you know, in any sense of the word. Again, this is not to bash him. I'm just giving a small little background. I'm not gonna go too deep into my family history um, in this particular video, but he wasn't an active parent at all. You know, he just um, knew to work and pay the bills. And let me make that clear because for some, that might be enough. Okay, yeah, he pays the bills. We need to, you know, pay more um, to the men or the people in the house who pay the bills. Like, it's like some people may feel like, oh yeah, you know, we're just, we're underplaying that. No, 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 no. We're not underplaying that at all because paying the bills is cool, but what are you doing it for? What is your purpose behind it, right? If Because there are some people, they pay the bills so they can have the bragging rights, right? Some people, they pay the bills so they can have that authoritative stance over somebody. So, um, in my opinion, you know, that's not, I'm not, I'm not giving that much praise. Because first of all, you have to pay the bills for yourself. And we just so happen to be living with you, right? <laughs> so um, that being said, my dad, he, you know, he, he did love us, you know, and he did provide for us. I can't take that away from him. His reasons for doing it, I'm not going to get into that right now. You know, what they were for and what his motives were and how he could have done them differently. But as far as the active part and being a dad, that that was a lack hugely greatly so my mother she didn't fulfill that spot either because she didn't know how to she wasn't trained on how to be both a mom and a dad you know so but what i can say is that she definitely held it down she was the one taking us school shopping she was the one always there front lining you know just disciplining not just there for discipline but also you know to um just love on us and encourage us and motivate us and she was just playing both roles and then when she finally learned how to boss up man did i tell you she owned that she you know everything that tried to topple her everything that tried to uh you know just bring her down and stifle her she just she was like you know what i'm gonna learn how to do this i may not do it professionally or go to school for it but i'm gonna learn to do this i'm gonna learn to read and write in english so i can you know be able to pass my driver's test so i can then get me a car get me some credit buy me a house you know be able to do this be able to get these jobs in these different positions in life and i see her grind and i see her pushing through and that's what you know that's part of what gives me life what that's part of what gives me the charge up to be able to do some of the things that i do and i thank her for that because had i not seen that example of a strong woman in a household and a woman who led the house that is a hundred percent on her she led that household it wasn't always perfect and it wasn't always right she didn't always do everything right but that's not what is the main focus the point is she tried she tried so hard and i know she beats herself up a lot thinking that she could have done better a lot of times she expresses how she feel like you know um she's just a waste of talent because she knows she has so much potential and so much talent inside of her but she feels like because she hasn't put them out due to um you know resource lack of resources and just so many different things uh in her age she just feels like okay she doesn't have the capacity for them so it's like i just have to constantly remind her like yo don't beat yourself up because you're not a waste of talent we have to rem you have to remember that you're not always gonna live to see 
all the hard work that you put out. And we had that conversation not too long ago about how, you know, sometimes your purpose, your main purpose in life is to set an example for the people who come after you. So you may not have reached the heights that you wanted to in your eyes, but you set the pace for the rest of us. And, and I can't ask for more than that because she taught me what to do and what not to do based on you know her actions and her words and just her moves and so many different things. And so it's like, I just have an abundance of gratitude for my mom. I'm grateful for my dad too, um, but I just have an abundance of gratitude for my mom because she actually tried, like wholeheartedly tried. And not many people can, you know, can say that. So thank you for being both a mom and a dad in my life and my siblings life and um to touch and you don't have to be a parent you don't have to birth kids or have kids to be considered a parent this holiday of mother's day and father's day it goes out to anybody who has helped to influence and impact the life of somebody else um in any way shape or form you do not have to give birth to a particular child. It could have been some advice. You could have been, um, you know, a, a mentor of some sort to somebody else. You get what I'm saying? So this holiday is not just for those who gave birth and who planted a seed. You know, it is for those who have helped. There's some people, unfortunately, they didn't have any kids. And they're okay with that because they fulfilled their destiny. They did what they had to do. They impacted the lives of somebody else. And to those people, I say happy Father's Day. A child, you know, giving birth to a child does not make you a father. So if you know that the role that you played in another kid's life, in someone's life, they don't have to be, the age gap doesn't have to be very far from one another. Then happy Father's Day to you. You helped father somebody. You helped guide someone. And the same thing goes for the women too. If you, just because you didn't give birth to a particular child or just because you didn't bear any children does not mean you were not a mother. We need to really uplift those men and women who did not have children, who do not have children, yet play such a vital role in so many children's lives. Whether it's just giving them joy, giving them comfort, giving them security, whatever it may be, I thank you guys because that is not your responsibility at all. You took on the task without even saying, without even knowing that you took on the task. They didn't go in saying, you know what, I'm gonna be a father to this kid today. I'm gonna be a mother to this kid today. No, it just happened. It just happened just by you being great. So thank you for your greatness and for impacting the lives of others. And the same thing goes for women too on Mother's Day. You know, like there are some men, they play both roles in their kids' lives. We can't discredit that. I'm not being biased. I'm not, you know, doing the whole um, gender thing at all. I'm not playing the gender card because I'm saying that this goes both ways. It just so happens that I'm making this video on Father's, you know, on the Father's Day holiday for my mom. But don't think that I'm just saying that, oh, all women play both roles. And uh, if, if it don't apply, it don't apply. Don't try to make it fit. If you know that you didn't play both roles, don't try to boost yourself up. You know, and if you know that you're doing your job as a father or as a mother or as both, then you know that this is for you. And I'm honoring you today, too. Amazing job. Great job. Keep up the great, the great work. Because you not only took on the task, but you actually own it. And you did it when you could have left. So thank you guys. Thank you for all the dads who play both roles. Thank you for all the moms who play both roles. Thank you for all the moms who play just the mom role. Thank you for all the dads who play just the dad role. There is nothing wrong with that. But I just wanted to highlight the people, the men and women who have played both roles in their kids' lives because they need it they need it so when they grow up they don't become broken like the rest of us so um thank you guys for hearing me out thank you all for um the support and let me know how you feel if you you know if you have something to say or if you disagree with something i'm up for the debate i'm up for the challenge talk to me
leave something in the comments let me know how this makes you feel and um we can take it from there thank you all for joining me bye